एम्स पर साइबर अटैक चला मैनुअल काम 12 घंटे में भी इंजीनियर्स नहीं निकाल सके तोड़ देश के सबसे प्रतिष्ठित चिकित्सा संस्थान एम्स के सर्वर को बुधवार को रैनसमवेयर अटैक करके हैक कर लिया गया इससे अस्पताल की सेवाएं बुरी तरह से प्रभावित रहीं अस्पताल की ओपीडी और आईपीडी में आने वाले मरीजों का इलाज करने में परेशानी का सामना करना पड़ा सर्वर डाउन होने पर दिल्ली एम्स ने अपने बयान में कहा है ये रैनसमवेयर अटैक हो सकता है टूडेज रैनसमवेयर अटैक ऑन एम्स रेप्रजेंट न्यू चैप्टर in our lives why because this is for the first time this ransomware attack has been targeted at the premier medical institution in india and why is this done because ultimately aims a system has got all the sensitive personal data being the health data of patients so aims would have troves of uh, medical data which would has been sought to be first attacked and a copy of that would have been made and then they have been encrypted uh, using the ransomware attack and as a result of this the entire uh, services the digital services of aims have been uh, currently stopped and only manual stuff services are currently going on and this actually represents one of the new kinds of cyber challenges that india as a nation is currently facing uh, ransomware is not new every 11 seconds one company is becoming a victim of a ransomware attack but this kind of an attack which is targeted at a premier medical institution like aims is possibly one of the first kinds here but is also an indication of a new trend that now cyber criminals and hackers are going to target india's critical information infrastructure and if you are not going to have appropriate legal frameworks to deal with these kinds of challenges we will have immense problems and therefore the need has come that we must go ahead and uh, strengthen the governmental systems and governmental data because government is the biggest depository of uh, the data of citizens and if that data of citizens is going to be targeted by ransomware attacks ultimately it will not just only affect the sovereignty security and integrity of india but more significantly would also go ahead and prejudicially impact the right to privacy of all the patients whose data has since gone this is the new normal we will now have to be prepared for the same and increasingly these kind of attacks will be targeted to diminish the value of indian cyber sovereignty the time has come that india now needs to take a stronger legal approach on how to deal with the legal challenges of ransomware and also enhance appropriate capacities amongst all digital stakeholders it's time that we should start inculcating cyber security as a way of life it's time that india requires a dedicated new legal framework and a dedicated law on cyber security because if that is not going to be coming in no affected party is going to have any effective remedies and therefore all onus will be on the government on how it wants to proceed forward in this regard pichle kuch mahino ke dauran desh mein cyber hamlon ki baat si aa gayi hai साइबर सिक्योरिटी कंपनी नॉर्टन की एक रिपोर्ट में बताया गया है कि देश में साल 2022 के जनवरी से मार्च तक के महीनों में 1.8 करोड़ बार साइबर हमले हुए इसके मुताबिक इंडियन कंप्यूटर इमरजेंसी रिस्पॉन्स टीम ने रोजाना 2 लाख साइबर हमले दर्ज किए ट्रैलिक्स नाम की साइबर सिक्योरिटी कंपनी ने बताया कि साल दो की चौथी तिमाही में रैन संबेयर गतिविधियों में सत्तर तक की बढ़ोतरी दर्ज की गई 